Absolutely pathetic. I give you a simple task to retrieve my precious gem from one no life hobo and not still no leads. What about that girl you're so fond of? Where is she with it? And now you tell me you've spent most of our resources and manpower and sent Dahlia to go on the hunt for it as well. I'm surrounded by a... <laughs> Father, please, your health. I know the limits of my own body, fool! I'm not ready to leave this goddess-forsaken city yet. <coughs> Marcus would have found her by now. Even Marcellus. But you... Uh, that's not fair. Oh, it's not fair, is it? You want to know what's not fair? Having a son who is so incompetent, he has to rely on his father even past this century! Father, I... Ugh, I'm going for the rest. You're in charge of things once again until I awaken. Hopefully that would be too much of a challenge for you. <coughs> and that better be progress by the time I wake up. Oh. Vitale, sir, how are you doing? Oh, dear, dear, you don't look too good. Is our head hatch not doing so well? That, and with the life gem being stolen, the entire family is exactly what you said, if not more. Uh, regardless, at the moment, I am waiting for Dale's return so we can sort out this mess. I see. Fortunately, I've got some good news for you. She has a deal so hitting an all-time high down at the casino. So, we don't have to worry about our influence being challenged. Good work, Tom. It will all be for naught, however, if Fava does not receive the life gem in time. And if the Skull Girl decides to attack us at this crucial moment, I'm not sure we could survive another onslaught. Oh, and try to keep it down. He's just falling asleep. Hopefully he doesn't dampen the sheets again. Right. Vitaly, forgive me, but mind if I take this suit off? It's getting kind of hot. By all means. Ah, <sighs> much better. <laughs> Please try not to bob so much this time. It makes conversation with you taxing, to say the least. Yeah, I get ya. Can't help it sometimes though, you know. That's why I let this big guy do most of the work. But it's nice to stretch the legs once in a while. <clears throat> and by that, you mean drink yourself into oblivion once again, until you put Otomo back on autopilot. Ugh, your relationship with alcohol is not a healthy one, Tom. Fish gotta swim, bots gotta fly. That's what I say. In your case, sit. Exactly. <sighs> hmm. Speaking about this new skull girl, I never got to see her previous hit. What's she like? A young girl, relatively small for being so legendary, but then nothing really surprises me now. Though I must say, it's a step down from Nancy. <laughs> I agree with you there. Two other matters. What have the others been saying downstairs? Some have been getting restless from the dead air. Others are just waiting for a call from the big guy or you. Any would do for him. And for the ones getting shaky and stupid ideas in their heads, Ricky and Laurie are keeping them in line. So, I think we're good. That doesn't exactly put me at ease, Tom. Leaving those two to oversee anything is a recipe for disaster. I shouldn't have sent them out earlier either. When Dali arrives back, I want you to go back down, and on your way, keep a close eye on all of them. Cool. Can I still drink? If you must. Nice. <clears throat> Ugh, nice stretch. <laughs> Ah, uh, that'll be her now. Tom, along with what I just said, I want you to watch over the casino and make sure nothing suspicious happens. I fear we will be getting some unexpected visitors soon. Bring some of our most trusted members and position them at key points, just in case. On it. Oh, and you want me to get Cerebella as well? She could come in very handy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no puns, please. And there's no need. She's already out looking for that meddling fellow. In fact, send for Beatrix. <coughs> uh, sorry. Her performance should just be finishing up. Notify that her talents will be needed once more. Then join the others in the casino. I'll meet with her after I'm done here. 
be quick. Your wish is my command. <laughs> She'll probably be over the moon that she's finally getting another assignment. We'll see. Things have been getting kind of boring around here for me anyway. No action for yours truly. Well, take care, Fidelity. Mandalia. Tommy. <clears throat> you too. Now then, how did it go? Any discoveries? Sadly, I'll have to reply in a negative. Our girls at Innsmouth haven't seen her or Fortune. They did see one thing though. What? He's out in his candy van again. Oh, that's just perfect. I can always- Leave it. We can't risk jeopardizing more info gathering in the situation we're in. Keep the girls stationed where they are. It's all in Sir Bella's hands now. So, what exactly is her reward going to be if she succeeds? Did we lose her? I think we have, dear. You can rest now. <laughs> Leviathan, you know I can't get tired. Uh, of course, though it pays to care, uh, especially in these times of stress. <laughs> Did I say something funny, dear? Not at all. Quite the contrary, in fact. I just find it so sweet that you still care for little things. Well, I... I say, look at the speed that girl is going! Hmm? <laughs> Oh yes, quite indeed. She seems to be in quite the hurry. Hmm. It must help being what she is, with her body and such. I wonder if she's being hunted as well. Interesting observation. On the other hand, it could be an errand. Regardless, it is not our concern. Now dear, on the matter of what we're going to do about the Renzo and the Skullgirl, which will you choose? Shouldn't we first deal with the matter of completely evading the princess? We can't spend our precious time worrying about false pretenses, Sienna. There are more pressing matters that require our pertinence. Yes, yes. Hmm. I think we should... Could have sworn I saw her around here somewhere. Damn that candy guy. I won't be able to finish all these either at this rate. Oh, hi there! Greetings. You seem to be a bit perturbed by something. Are... Oh? Oh dear. Uh, what? Have I got chocolate on my face or something? No, no! It's your hat! If it's a hat... Yeah, your hat! It looks awesome! The diamonds really complement the orange very much so! It must be a sort of synthetic parasite, right? Oh, sure! Its name's vice versa! Nice! Leviathan, what do you think? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Oh, so that thing attached to your head is also... A parasite too, yes. The pleasure is all mine, dear. Do please excuse Squiggly's eagerness. And you are. Oh, Sarabella! Nice to meet you too! <laughs> I'm normally a bit iffy with strangers, but you two seem alright. Something about you. You got it right, and thank you kindly, miss. Cool! Levy, dear, please don't leave me out here. Apologies, dear. Have you calmed down some? Very. Then by all means, continue. We- Moderately. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarabella. Like he points out, I do tend to get carried away. Your hat's still pretty cool, though. <laughs> Thanks. Like I was saying before, though, you were in a bit of an argument amongst yourself. Something happened? Huh? Oh, that. No, no. No, no, that was nothing. <laughs> Just some candy trouble that I was eating when, uh... Say, you guys seen a feral pass through here? Why, yes, as a matter of fact. She appeared to be heading in the direction of the cathedral and... Swell! Thanks! Don't mention it? Well, that was abrupt. Yes. Oh, well. I hope she finds who she's looking for. Now, dear, before other matters, is the Opera House open? Why, yes it is, love. Shall we- oh, oh. Hold on, Squiggly! I can sense a familiar presence nearby. It's- The same power we felt before when meeting the spiky girl. Yes, but this time, it seems more prominent. I can feel it scratching at my mind. Such a psychic presence in this city at this time is baffling. This isn't chess. Indeed. But where is it coming from? <sighs> She's here. <laughs> yes!
It's big enough. I'll give it that. Not really much to it, though. Hmm. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. They wouldn't... They'd... I'm here for a reason. I've come all this way. I'll do what I can, then I'll make the decision afterwards. doesn't know when to stop! When is she gonna stick to one octave? It's getting tiresome at this point. No, no matter. matter. Anyway. <laughs> poker table, poker table. Where did I leave you last? <sighs> that was a close shave. I think I might have seen her before. Focus fortune. She's gotta be here somewhere. Mm, try there. Man, it's dark in here. They could at least work on the lighting- ah! One more little squeal, kitty. And there goes that magnificent bowl cut. We've been expecting you. Now, we can begin. 